In this video, we're going to talk about the management of content translation in WPML. You may recall in our last video, we started the Spanish translation of this post. And now this pencil indicates that it's finished. But I know that it's not because we didn't translate it. And there are two ways we can deal with this. One is to click this pencil and it will open the post and we can simply begin translating. But there's another way. If we go down to the WPML menu item and go to translations, here's a list of all current translations. Right now there's only one, but on a busy site, there could be dozens and they could be managed by multiple people. Let me show you how this works. Right here is an edit button and you can see that it thinks the translation status is complete. So we'll click the edit button and there are three pieces of information on that post that can be translated with WPML, the title, the content, and the category. Now the title and the content are not translated, but the category is. And so now I'm going to click save and close. And now it says it's in progress. Let's go back to the post list and I'll show you what it looks like now that it's back in progress. Instead of a pencil, there's a little progress meter. But also, now that it's not complete, I have the option to resign. Currently, I am assigned to this translation item. If I click resign, then it's not my responsibility anymore. It's no one's. Now at this point, any translator could come into this list and click take and translate. And it simply goes back to here. And now I own it again. There's also a resign button here if I wanted to resign from here. Now, once I had finished translating the title and the content, I could click translation is complete. If I need to, I could click copy all fields from original and it would basically start me over. Or optionally, I could do individual fields. For example, I accidentally wipe that out. I can click here and get it back. And now I click save and close. In regards to workflow, this post could be opened and closed over and over again. Some posts or pages can be very long and require more than one translation session. So it's easy to come in, do some work, save, and come back. And when I'm done, I click translation is complete and I have the pencil back. Rather than having translators come in and out of your WordPress instance to translate content, you may want to consider using a professional translation agency with a translation connector so that you can send your WordPress content for professional translation and receive professional translations right back into WordPress without providing direct access to your WordPress instance. This is wonderful for security and translators usually prefer using their own tools over what's in WordPress. We'll show you how that works in video 14. In our next video, we'll take a look at how to translate the things around our content, like sidebars. 